Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here, and today we'll be talking about the secret to single PC streaming. Streaming is something that is very popular. It honestly is just one of those things that if you have a PC, you can very easily do now. You download OBS, and boom, you can start streaming instantly. But what a lot of people don't know is how to get the perfect quality now one thing that's very important to me also when streaming is still getting that high fps that's why i have a dual pc setup but i'm going to be showing you how to still get high fps with a single pc streaming setup and high quality now we'll be using obs studio today i will not recommend streamlabs it's just kind of it uses so much stuff in the background that i don't really honestly recommend it it has a lot i do recommend that if you are going to use something use stream elements it is a little bit more involved it is a little bit more complicated but you can get a much better result out of it if you're interested in checking out my twitch check follow it at twitch.tv forward slash chamber tech link is down below i'm gonna start i'm gonna try try and start streaming on there done that before and never actually happens but maybe we'll start off so first of all what kind of graphics card should you have for streaming or what encoder so the best overall encoder is the nvidia nvenc encoder that is the one found on your nvidia gpus if you have an amd gpu i'm sorry you are going to be at a loss amd gpus just don't have that good of an encoder they're they have one but obs does not currently support it they don't support the latest version of the encoder obs if you would support it it would be so much better i really wish they would but no so we're just gonna have to use nvidia or some other things so nvidia you're going to want to use nvenc if you have a 20 series or 30 series slash 1650 and up basically you'll have the new nvenc which is much higher quality but if you're on a 10 series you're still going to have fine quality it's still going to be higher than x264 or quicksync for what you will typically be able to run so let's just get right into it one thing i'm going to talk about first of all is just nvidia broadcast if you are on a single PC streaming setup, do not use this. This can literally use 30 to 50% of your GPU if you're running the RTX noise suppression, the speaker suppression, and the camera uh, modifications. It does help it look better. I actually used to use it for blurring my camera. I was not a fan of it, actually. It, I found it very much darkened the image to a certain point where it didn't make the camera look good. And I'm using an, an Elgato face cam webcam, which is literally supported now with NVIDIA Broadcast in the actual settings. It just doesn't look good in my opinion. So I would highly recommend not using this. It's just not that very good. Just if you're interested in getting better mic quality, learn how to use the, micro, the OBS um, settings. So for example, if you're on OBS, just go to proper, just go to filters, learn how to add a compressor noise gate and noise suppression that's going to help a lot more that will make it sound significantly better than anything you do with rtx voice rtx voice is very much easier but it's just that so what are your options first of all so if you have an nvidia card we're just going to show you real quick what to use one second okay so if you're on nvidia gpu here's what i'll recommend so i'm gonna recommend using nvenc over obviously as your encoder rescale your output so first of all I would not recommend running 1080p, especially if you're not a partner on Twitch. You're going to want to run 1280 by 720 or 1664 by 936. Those are the two best resolutions. Bitrate, you can go up to about 7,500 if you check the ignore um, settings. So let me see. No, I cannot find it once. Just let me show you actually on the streaming PC real quick. So if I do this, awesome. So as you can see, if you go to here, Let's click ignore streaming service recommendations hit yes hit apply you are actually able to do a higher higher bit rate than the 6000 that twitch recommends youtube you can go very much higher i wouldn't go higher in facebook facebook i think is about 10,000. youtube is about like 50,000 or something if you're on those two platforms and your internet supports it do about 10,000. but on twitch 6000 is simply what you want to recommend and for every single play every single so sorry for twitch recommend 320 kilobit audio use whatever shows up as the max audio bit rate on that just do it i would recommend maxing out your audio bit rate though first of all before your video bit rate just because your audio matters so much your audio is 100 100 you're always gonna be listening to audio you won't always be looking at the video for chance now 
let's just show you the NVENC setting. So we're gonna use the quality preset. Just doesn't do dual pass encoding and typically this just will be a little better. Keyframe intervals, always set that to two. Profile high, uncheck look ahead and vis fight psycho visual tuning. So psycho visual tuning will like, if you're doing like really fast mouse movements, it will increase your, um, your bit rate. And then look ahead just changes the, the B frames depending on what's going on in the scene, not going to really recommend, like not going to recommend that. Now, if you are recording real quick on NVENC, here's what I'll recommend. So this is what I would typically recommend. You're actually going to use CQP for the rate control. I would be, you can be fine with 1080p on this. Typically though, if you are recording, it won't be as like high of FPS and stuff. So keyframe interval two, preset quality, high, turn, enable cycle visual tuning and set max preframes to two. This is like recommended in recording settings, but if you want the max recording, use these. So all we changed was we checked, look ahead, we set the preset to max quality and we set max B frames to four. Now, if you all take your like stream clips and throw it on the YouTube, what you'll want to do actually is just click automatically record when streaming. That way you can get that high quality. Now you can also do the replay buffer, enable that and set like the last, like I don't know, 60 seconds so that it will automatically start and then you can just hit, um, where is it? Automatically start replay buffer and then you can save that with a hotkey or in OBS itself. It's like in video, like highlights and stuff. It's just using this. So you can do that. But now what happens if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU? Now you have two options. So you have quick sync, which is if you have an Intel iGPU on your system. So if you have a K or a normal one, if it has an F on it, it will not have an iGPU. If you have an AMD kind of out of luck. I guess if you have a G CPU, but those are really not that high, not that good. So what you'll need to do then is you'll need to get quick sync. You'll need to enable your, you will need to enable your iGPU in your BIOS. Make sure it's enabled and download the Intel driver from their website. So find your driver. So for example, I just did Intel U HD 770 driver. I just did that support. And I downloaded the driver. I just click drivers and software. It scrolls down. I just downloaded this normal driver. And then you can enable quick sync. I did 1664 by 936. Target usage very slow. Profile high. Um, rate control. The only thing I changed is LA underscore CBR. Bit rate 6000. Latency normal. Basically, this you can actually run slightly higher quality. Maybe you can run 1080p now with this one if you want. Because this isn't actually using your GPU. This might lower. This will probably still lower your FPS a little bit. Just because you are using the like you'll have OBS open. One thing I'd also recommend is let's say you have all your stuff running, like let's say that you have a display capture running and all that stuff, you know. One thing you're is right clicking, disable the preview so it doesn't have to render it twice. One thing though that will be actually a very big deal is just your internet speed. Make sure that it's running fast enough. But this should probably be enough, honestly, for most people. 1664 by 936 is still very high quality. Now Let's say that you have an AMD CPU or you don't have an iGPU or your, C or your motherboard doesn't support iGPU. iGPU. What you'll need is you'll need to use X264. This is just CPU encoding. So I would really recommend 720p, especially if you're playing games like Warzone, Valorant, CSGO, Fortnite, something that's, C that's CPU heavy, you're going to want to run 720p. Now, bitrate 6000, keyframe interval 2. CPU usage, you can try medium, but medium is similar to NVENC. One thing though, just go to, um, I'll put, maybe go to like fast. That should probably help a lot. Just use like fast or something. Use the lowest preset you can get without dropping frames in OBS or massive frame dips in your game. That's just what you want. And now let's say you do have an AMD GPU. You are not going to be able to stream very high quality with it. I'm not even going to show quality settings just because there is none really, really good, but recording. You can get something very good. Literally, this encoder is so good. You can choose H.264, H.265. I'm going to do H6 to H.264. Preset indistinguishable recording. That's what I would recommend. You see, there's a Twitch streaming and a YouTube streaming preset for these. It would probably actually be a little better for YouTube streaming. But I would say do indistinguishable recording. And as you can see, it automatically will set your recording settings. And as you can see, let's say you're doing YouTube streaming. It'll set that. You can set your target bit rate. 
this one it will automatically set it too so that's very good but just use just if you want high quality recording do that or indistinguishable do whichever one you want basically what this is doing is changing the i and p in the cqp settings just because so what happens is the lower it is the higher the bit rate will be and the higher it can go that's why i recommend saying about 15 that's typically where it is best if this video helped you hit that like button subscribe tell me what GPU you're using and how you're actually using encoding your stream, what resolutions, what bit rates. Very interesting to know. Um, definitely though, 6,000 is such a very good one. 1080p is not enough. 6,000 bit rate is not enough for 1080p. That's what honestly why I don't recommend 1080p on Twitch. So I recommend 1664 by 936, maybe even boosting the bit rate up to like 7,500 right there or 720p 6,000. That's really honestly all the point. But I guess have fun streaming now with higher FPS. Peace.